assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, viewers, I'm June, welcoming you to a very special birthday episode of Kablam! Is there someone named Henry around here? controlled car. This is the Kablamious gift ever. Today's our birthday episode because it was exactly three years ago that the artist Mark Merritt first put his pen to paper and brought us both to life. Wow, look at her go. Henry. What? Don't you have something to say to me? Sure do. These mag wheels really grip the road. I can't believe it. You forgot. Forgot what? Would you like to try it, birthday girl? Thanks, Henry. You're right. This present I gave you was the kablamiest ever. Almost as kablammy as the world premiere of Jet Cat. <laughs> and then on Sunday, my mom took me fishing down at Luna Lake. It was so rad. I can beat that. Saturday, I went to the zoo with my cousins, and Sunday was Mike Black's bowling party, which was, like, so cool. Bowling party? I wasn't invited to any bowling party. Well, um, you s Mike can only invite three kids, Mel. You know how it is. I don't care that I wasn't invited. I just can't believe you never told me about it. Best friends shouldn't keep secrets, Todd. We have a sacred relationship. <laughs> Everybody panic! Creeping crud, Melanie! Look at that giant radio control robot! This isn't just trouble, this is jet cat trouble! <laughs> Melanie McKay? Your. your. jet cat? Uh, no! If you're just imagining things. <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah, a regular comedian. Funny. Whoa. Now, where were we? Hey, what's going on here? Uh, well, uh, what do you mean? Oh, come on. You never told me you were Jet Cat. Jet who? Give me a break. What was all that baloney about? Best friends shouldn't keep secrets. This is totally different, Todd. Yeah, the part about best friends. See you later, Melanie. Or whoever you are. Hang on, Todd. Todd, I... Aw, oh, fooey. Todd! Wait up! Listen, I'm sorry about yesterday, but I just couldn't tell you my secret. My mortal enemies would use you to blackmail me. Yeah, right. I said I was sorry. How can I make it up to you? Well, 
you could bring me a cherry icy ice right now. Mmm. So are pals again, right? You think you could buy back our friendship with an icy ice? No way! However, a comic book might help. Yes. I want a comic book from another planet in another solar system. What? In mint condition, please. No can do, Todd. That would be an abuse of my superpowers. Well, I'd hate to have to tell everyone Melanie McKay is Jet Cat. Todd Johnson, you're a bad seed. Yes! I'll have the rarest comic book on Earth. <laughs> like a jet and fight like a cat. Hence the name. Boy, we all learned a little lesson today, didn't we, Todd? I suppose I wasn't a very good friend, was I? Try jerk. Huh. Then again, I suppose I should have told you about me being Jet Cat and all. I mean, if you can't tell your best friend your biggest secret, who can you tell? Jet Cat does it again. What a story. Jet Cat, could we get a picture of you next to the giant robot? Step aside, kid. Hey, don't push my pal. Any pictures of me include him. You're her pal? What's her real who identity? Who is Jet Cat? You want to know who she is? Yeah. Tell us. She's my best friend. That's who. <laughs> Welcome back to the super fantastic Henry and June, June, June birthday, birthday, birthday celebration! Yeah, celebration where I buy Henry a really great gift and he gets me a big bag of Jack. Bag of Jack? Au contraire, what do you call this? A wedding cake? No way! It's a birthday cake! Oh, then how do you explain the bride and groom on the top? What are you talking about? That's not a bride and groom. They're special June's birthday action figures, <coughs> Tuxedo Man and White Wedding Dress Lady. Uh-huh. Read the inscription. Congratulations on your wedding, Helen and... <coughs> <coughs> hey, pound cake. Get it? And speaking of poundings, let's watch the Action League take one, shall we? Dateline, Action Headquarters, where our heroes return from a routine patrol to find the ultimate indignity. Somebody TP'd HQ! I feel so violated! They used me own private stash! You were saving that role for a special occasion. Who could be so mean? Let's ask that ninja guy lurking in the shadows. The Red Ninja. After all these years, he's come back for me. And this time, only one of us will survive. Action League, now. Today's episode, Flippers of Fury. Our story begins with an unwieldy but necessary flashback sequence. It all began back at Kung Fu Junior High. The Red Ninja and I were sparring for our tutor, Master Pooh. Red was always a sore loser. 
Red Ninja, you must do detention. Oh. I'll get you someday, stinky one. So now you see it's him or me. No way, Stinky. We're a team. All for one and one for all. Yeah. Go, girl. Tell it. You don't understand. The Red Ninja's a ruthless killing machine. Whoa, look at the time. I've got therapy. And so, with a showdown ahead, a smelly samurai pays a visit to his kung fu guru. Hey, Master Boo, how's it hanging? Stinkhopper, have you forgotten all your training? When addressing one's master, one must always bow. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, sorry, Master Pooh. Oh! Oh! Also, never take your eyes off your opponent. Oh, it's nice to see you, too. The years have made you soft like bean curd. To fight Red Ninja, we must begin training immediately. Only in your mind does the fire burn. Ow, 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 Only in your mind do the blows stink. Ow, 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 ow. Only in your mind does the brick cause you pain. Blimey! You have come far in short time, Stinkhopper. You are ready to fight the Red Ninja. Are you kidding? All I'm ready for is the emergency ward. Nonsense. The butterfly does not need wings to fly. Wait a minute. Yes, it does. You know what I mean. Now, go out and mess up his Red Ninja face. Later in a secret Kung Fu village. Stinky! 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 Yay! Look as bad as you smell, Stinkhopper. You want a piece of me, huh? They're uh, going fast. Ow! Oh, forget it. Ah! Can Master Pooh's master plan save Stinky Diver? Or will this mismatch make him meet his maker? Stay tuned for the action. Hey, ah! Conclusion of Action League now. Go wake your Grammy! There's more Kablammy! Still to come, Prometheus and Bob. Life with Loopy! And when we return, more Action League Now! Right here on Kablam! Action League Now! Ninja returned. Stinky Diver learned. Master Pooh concerned as the Red Ninja prepares to deep six a dismembered diver, only one option remains. Think, man, think! What would Master Pooh say right now? The quills of the porcupine must sometimes flutter through the air. Huh? What the devil does that mean? Use your spear gun, idiot. Oh, right! Stinkhopper, you won. I salute you. No thanks to you, you rotter. Uh, uh, like you always say, never take your eyes off your opponent, Master Boo. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> certainly was an action-choked episode of Action League Now. Speaking of choking... June, look! See? I told you it's a birthday cake. Get a grip, Henry. You forgot my birthday, okay? Now let's just move on with our lives. As I was saying, choking is a very serious problem. That's why we at Kablam are proud to be part of a nationwide anti-choking campaign. There he is! So you like wedding cake, huh, punk? Ah, very good. Henry is exhibiting some of the classic signs of choking. Turning blue, gasping for air, and clutching his throat. If you ever see someone choking, help them by using the Heimlich Maneuver, which I will now demonstrate with the aid of my assistant, Mr. Foot. 
Remember, kids, only Nimrods choke. Now, here's two guys who never forget each other's birthdays, Prometheus and Bob. 900,000 years ago, an alien videotaped his attempts to educate a caveman, the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape number 52, Hammer. Okay. Blamsters, get ready for more cartoon cramming. Because next up, we've got... She's a jolly kablammer, which nobody can deny. Henry... June, I'm really sorry about forgetting your birthday. And I just hope you can forgive me. Here, I baked this for you. I know it's not much, but... Really? You made this? Mm-hmm. Gee, Henroid, <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Well, you know, I'm not a complete jerk. I mean, what people don't always understand about me is that... Huh? Ah! Uh! You should really eat that before it gets soggy. Henry? Right, zip it. Hi. Larry here. You know, our dad's a pretty good guy. He works hard, doesn't complain, and always remembers to flush. In fact, the only problem with dad is there's just not enough of him to go around. Hey, dad, can you help me with my science homework? <laughs> Sorry, son. Kind of busy right now. But dad, you promised to play Martian mad scientists with me. Honey, where are you? The dishes are piling up in here. Hold your horses, people. I can't be in four places at once now, can I? <laughs> now, to me, Dad's question was perfectly logical, but Loopy took it as a scientific challenge. That night, she got busy in the basement, and by the next morning, she converted Mom's Twin Tub Deluxe washer dryer into... A fully functional cloning device. Allow me to demonstrate. Ouch! I simply drop Dad's nose hair into the protoplasmic vat, set the machine on spin, and voila! Hey, snappy duds, fella. Right back at you, pal. 
Loopy's clone dad turned out to be a molecular miracle. Pass the glue gun, son. In fact, he was such a success that Loopy made another one. <sighs> Done cleaning out the gutters, dear. Reporting for dish duty. And another. Okay, Quetzalcoatl, sacrifice me to the sun god. And soon we had four dads in the house. But little did we know that messing with genetics can have catastrophic repercussions. Just in time for the Charlie Chicken Show. Golf. Bass fishing. Celebrity lawn darts. And I wasn't the only one suffering. With four dads and no washing machine, Mom was starting to lose it. Out, out darn spot. <laughs> But for Loopy, the situation was reaching critical mass. Hey now, Loopy. What's the motivation for the acceleration? Haven't forgotten it's bath night, have you, Pumpkin? Sweetie, look what I found in the attic. All your old baby photos. Ah! Was, was it, it something, something I, I said? said? You're not messing with my power tools, are you? Loopy. Where are you, Sugar Plum? Jumpin' Jiminy! Dad, read me a bedtime story. Dad, let me call you, girl. Dad, why can't we eat candy for breakfast? I uh, just remembered I have a previous engagement. Me too. Ditto. And soon, three of the DADs were back to being DNA, and only one was left. Well, pumpkins, it may take me a while, but I'll find time for each and every one of you. Yep, it was the original, the one and only, our dad. Yay, dad! So that was that. We learned our lesson. One dad's enough for all of us. Of course, the only question is now, what are we going to do with all these loopies? Well, I guess that wraps up our super fantastic birthday edition of Kablam. I don't know about that. If you don't want it, I guess I could take it back. <gasps> oh, it's the absolute kablamiest, Henry. My very own mood ring? Wow. Did you see how it went from green to blue? That means you're going from sad to happy. I am happy, Henry. And why wouldn't you be, considering how much I spent on that thing? Wow, did you see how fast that changed? I bet you never got a present this rad before. Let's see. Orange, that means you're feeling a little annoyed. Actually, I'm feeling a lot annoyed. Boy, I wish instead of that rinky-dink car, you'd bought me one of these. Whoa, check it out. It's flashing. That means you're... Ooh. Really ticked off because your so-called friend is an inconsiderate, self-absorbed blockhead? Bingo. Hey, it's turning blue. I'm happy again, Henry. Happy birthday, June. Happy birthday, Henry. Bye, you guys. Cut thanks for co-watching Kablam! Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. <laughs>